Facebook going. Got Instagram going. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Weekday Hi Wellness. Guys. Hello, Facebook people. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, whether you're on live or watching the replay. Thank you. Put put a hi in the chat and let us let us know where you're joining us from. Yeah. Yeah. So the holidays are upon us. Halloween has passed. Just had Halloween. I know, right? Kind of the start of the sugar, mm -hmm. <laughs> sugar fest. The carb fest. Carb fest. <laughs> we have Thanksgiving coming up. We have um, Hanukkah, Christmas, whatever holidays you celebrate. <laughs> They all come with lots of activities and lots of food, and there's good and bad with all of that. That's right. We want That's to right. give a few tips today on how to survive the emotional roller coaster of the holidays. Yeah. And not just um well, yes, the emotional roller coaster and and it comes in all different forms. And so first of all, I want to give a few affirmations that I find helpful for helping me not stray too far from my wellness goals. Right? Just because it's a holiday doesn't mean we just throw everything to the side. Mm. That all or nothing mentality is very disruptive and and also, um, gosh, um, like destructive <laughs> and dangerous to mm. our health. So one thing is it's progression, not perfection. And that's my motto. You guys are welcome to use it. And remember, right, it's not all or nothing. Even if you maybe eat a little too much on one of those days, it's okay. It doesn't mean, ah, oh, forget it. I'll just, whatever. I'll we'll jump off a bridge if I'll you don't maintain your diet. <laughs> I'll start no, Usually what happens is I'll just start my diet at the new year right yeah where instead it's like okay i overate a little but it's okay i can just get back on yeah also your body will forgive you it's important like we use affirmations to help remind us and create positive thoughts but sometimes if the affirmation seems a little too Mm. Daunting, maybe. Um, yeah, untrue, Ooh. right? Ooh. Like, like. So, in other words, saying I am healthy and fit. Okay. Well, I'm working on being healthy and fit, but even more importantly, this is a really strong affirmation. I am committed to being healthy and fit. Uh, I like that. I am being committed to healthy and fit. And yeah. that way, no matter where I am right. in my progress, as long as I am committed, it helps me think about the choices I am making. Because if you just said, I am healthy and fit, I am healthy and fit, but your brain is saying, no, you're not. <laughs> You're going to make different choices. It's like, uh, I'm not anyway. So hmm. let me just go have that. Exactly. Let me go have that extra cookie. Let me have that dessert. But if I'm committed to being healthy and fit and being the best version of myself, and I'm a work in progress, then I'm always striving to do better. Yeah. And here's a little tool I use. To help me stay committed to being healthy and fit. It's anti-satiety gum, is that the best way to put it? Or satiety gum from MetaPower. And I'm chewing a piece right now, so excuse me, I feel a little rude chewing while we're on video here, but it definitely suppresses any cravings for sweets or carbs. And and, and I love it. So 
You know, I just right. We can use, use tools. that as a tool. Exactly. 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 It's a tool. Another tool is the MetaPower beadlets. You can just pop a few in your mouth. And it has lemon, grapefruit, peppermint, cinnamon, and ginger. Mm, and some of my favorite flavors. Together, mm. it helps to decrease cravings for sweets and carbs. Also helps increase that feeling of satiety. And the oils actually have been shown to help decrease the amount of fat that gets accumulated on our body. Mm. So it comes in various forms, but um, these are really handy to carry with you. And let's say you're going to a party, right? You could use the gum, you could mm. use the beadlets. Or together. So have, right? Uh -huh. You know, when your gum gets a little, little used, Pop one of these babies and it'll add a fresh spark of flavor to your gum. Yes, yes. The other thing is make sure you're drinking. <coughs> I swallowed a beadlet. <laughs> Lots of water. Don't talk and, and chew beadlets at the same time. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's recommended at least half your body weight in water. And so I know this is a 20 ounce bottle of water. And so I have at least three of these during the day. And I also do a 16 ounce glass of water first thing in the morning with lemon essential oil to help get my lymph system going and help flush my system. So that's my minimum. That's at least half my body weight in water. You can always do more, but I find that often when we go to snack or grab some food, it's not necessarily because we're hungry, right? And we could actually be thirsty. A good little trick is before you go to eat something, let's say it's a snack, just say, you know what, I can have that snack, but first, let me drink a glass of water or let me finish the water in my bottle mm. and wait 20, 30 minutes and see if you still want that food. Mm. Often that craving will pass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So always have water with you. Take it with you when you go to other people's houses to visit. Take it with you to parties. Just make sure you have plenty of water. The other thing is eat lots of fresh whole foods, lots of veggies, have fruits. You can use nuts as a snack. And if you're going to a gathering and it's uh, there's going to be food there and you're not sure if the food is really something that's healthy and kind of within what what you want to eat, what we've always done because we've been plant-based, we've been vegetarian, we're vegan, we're right. So often when we go to other people's houses, I offer to bring a dish so that I know there's something that I can eat, but it's also a way for just sharing other types of food with people. And so whether it's a big mixed green salad, because I know I, you know, we'll be able to eat that, or some kind of casserole dish. Pot of vegetarian chili. Or a pot of chili is one of our favorite things to bring. Um, and that way you know you have something to eat and you're also just sharing your lifestyle with other people. It's fun. Mm -hmm. um, and don't go to gatherings hungry. Yeah. Don't go mm -hmm. hungry. Sometimes I say, you know, bring your bag of tricks with you, like snacks that are healthy. Um, if you have a, a ways to travel. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Yeah. It's kind of an insult. <laughs> no, not, not in the house, but oh, if you have oh, a ways oh, okay, to travel okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. rushing, yeah, yeah, yeah. bring some okay. healthy snacks 
house with you to sure, have in the car sure, 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 so exactly. that you're not exactly, too exactly. hungry when you, exactly, because exactly. Then you'll be much more tempted to eat things that you normally wouldn't and right. your willpower remember we're trying to get away from willpower right. because it doesn't work Right. Buy meta power instead. Uh, um, and the other thing is, you know, it's unrealistic to think you're not going to have any sugar uh, during this time, but really try to reduce the amount of sugary food. Again, the meta power oil and the gum will help with that craving for sugar, but also look for lower sugar recipes. And I'm going to post a couple. There's um, actually in our living magazines, mm. they always have some great recipes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to post it in our Facebook group. There's one, uh, it's oatmeal cookies. But they're, but they're so healthy, there's no sugar at all. It uses bananas, oats, some nut butter, whether you like almond or peanut butter or sunflower butter. And then I add coconut and some chocolate chips. Yep. So that I- No refined can, sugar. That's right. And a little chocolate chips, dark chocolate. So I'm still getting a little bit, but it's very hearty. The other recipe that I'll share is a whole wheat banana nut bread. Again, it uses um, no processed sugar. It does use some honey or maple syrup, okay. but also bananas. And uh, again, it's very hearty filling bread. So try to find recipes that have a lower sugar content because again, it's not to deprive yourself, but it's also to reduce the amount of sugars that we're eating. And then don't forget to move because exercise often goes by the wayside during this holiday time because we're busy with extra activities and shopping and, you know, just all kinds of things. But when we move, when we exercise, it helps to regulate our appetite. It also helps in um, increasing circulation, increasing our mood. We're just going to feel better. Mm. And when we feel better, we tend to make better choices. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whether it's walking around the block a few times or putting on some music and dancing or if you have a stationary exercise bike or a regular bike mm -hmm. there's so many ways to move just get up and move really find a grandchild yeah <laughs> even if it's not yours exactly. find a grandchild and, and go play with him and or her speaking of mood this is also important to manage because like I said, if we're not managing our mood, it can sabotage our lifestyle choices, right? And this can be a very joyous time, but it can also be a very stressful time. It can also be a time of sadness or grief for some people. So acknowledge what you're feeling and know that again, there are tools that we can use to help with our feelings. I always carry my little bag of oils with me when I'm, when I'm going places and have them at home, of course, too. But some of my favorite for helping with mood, cheer. It's a wonderful blend for just brightening up our mood. Peace, when feeling stress or irritable is another good or anxious. one. Or anxious. Meeting anxious. those relatives again. Yeah, peace, right? Or conflicts that might arise. Right. Use peace. Adaptive for stress and anxiety. This is meant to be used every single day, multiple times a day. We all have stress, some more than others, but we all have stress. We live in a chronically stressed environment, but we can help manage our response to stress by helping to support our central nervous system, which the oils in the adaptive and the adaptive capsules are wonderful at helping us to calm down and help calm down our stress response. 
We have many other oils that can help with it. I posted in our Facebook group an anxiety blend that uses adaptive and serenity and balance and citrus bliss and green mandarin. Mm. Um, and it's wonderful. You can make up your own roller bottle with those oils and just carry it around. Good place for emotions. Put it on your wrist. You can always smell it behind your ears and down your neck because of your um, carotid artery goes and right up into your brain behind your on the back of your neck where your skull meets your uh, what you call right? it Occipital yeah low. your uh, spine. spine uh oh there goes uh -oh. my crutches and plant <laughs> um and also you can do it on your heart area and increases of your in the creases of your elbows. Mm. Those are all wonderful emotional places. So use the tools you have to help you manage and have joy and fun during the holiday season. If you don't have these oils and would like to get them, message us and we will help you figure out the next best step. We yeah. would love to support you during this time so that you can feel your best and be able to do all the activities that you want to do. Yeah, right? yeah. And I would just like to invite our, our uh, Instagrammers to, even if you want to put up a fake account, just do a, do a fake uh, Facebook account and join our Facebook group yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do, just do a random account. Make it the name anything if you don't want to be on Facebook. This is for people that uh -huh. don't want to be on Facebook, right? Just create an account, give it a name, and then come join us on Learning About Essentials group. That could be the only group you're a part of, and at least you will be able to take advantage of the fun we have over there and the giveaways and all yeah. the cool stuff. Yes, and next week we're having our online event our monthly online event. And it's on how to create some extra income. How to be financially healthy with doTERRA. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We talk about physical health, emotional health, mental health, but our financial health is a big part of our wellness plan. And you have the opportunity, come check it out, no obligation. But if you're at all interested, we'd love to have you join us just to see what it is. Exactly. So uh, again, put, well, for Instagram, DM us for right. Facebook, put me in the comments and we'll get you that registration link. All right. Till next time, have a wonderful week and peace out. Peace out everybody.